All right, today we're doing a review on the Jet 5-inch Random Orbital Sander, the JAT730. <clears throat> when I was looking to purchase one of these, I couldn't find any good reviews about it or even what it came with. So we're going to do one of those. Just received this a couple days ago. Um, I did take it out of the package. It did not come with the air chuck. So I picked one of those up from Home Depot, put one of those on. Does does state that it comes with the hook and loop pad. So it came with one of those. <clears throat> uh, comes with directions and then to change the head on or the pad. So that's all it comes with there. Um, originally, what I've been using for years is the Porter Cable Orbital Sander here. <clears throat> it's pretty beat. When I looked to try to get a new one, I couldn't even find this or even a real part number. Um, it literally was as if they never made the thing. So <clears throat> I was looking to replace this. Saw the Jet made one. It had a warranty. These are pretty close to the same thing. The Jet might be a little bit smaller. Only difference, this has a uh, different pad on it so that you can use the sticky sandpaper. Um, this obviously, the hook and loop, I purchased a bunch of the Rhino Grip discs. Um, these are the ones with the hook and loop or Velcro ones. So, pretty easy to stick on there and stays. Um, I had so much of the sticky back sandpaper. This is the stuff that you peel and stick. For this one, I ended up ordering a pad on Amazon. It's called like the vinyl backing pad so that I could use the sticky sandpaper with this. <clears throat> Looks like it'll work pretty good. It's pretty close to the same size. I did take this pad off and put this on and it did work. The other weird thing is when I spin it, it looks like it's not centered, but it it kind of shifts. Obviously, the random orbital part. Um, to change the pad, I don't know if I'll be able to do it here, but um, there's a nut in there. <clears throat> kind of hold the pad really tight. And then, yeah. Spin that off. That's what you're left with. The insides of it there. And then this. Need this little rubber end here. Get down there pretty good. It worked. I can use the sticky sandpaper with that. <clears throat> just had so much of it, just didn't want to let it all go to waste. It's only 10 bucks for this on Amazon. It's pretty easy to find. I think the brand is, uh, it's that one right there. It's the part number and brand. Let me put the original Add on here. Make sure it's tightened. Slap this piece of sandpaper on there. I'll plug it in, get an idea what it sounds like, how it works. It does say to oil daily. work pretty good. Uh, this is the adjustment right here. Here the air compressor. Unplug that one. This is the other one.
sounds a little different. It's missing parts, spitting water out. It's pretty basic, but <clears throat> couldn't get the uh, the silencer or whatever for it. Ended up breaking off pretty soon to when I bought it. But still used it for years. So either way, this is the Jet JAT730. What I understand comes with a two or three year warranty. So, see how it lasts.